Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. Recently, Micron Technology announced that in the next few years, it will invest an additional 4.3 billion renminbi in the packaging and testing plant in Lebanon to build new plants and introduce better equipment. Not long ago, Micron Technology was deeply involved in the embarrassment of the ban on sales in China, but now it invests in the construction of a factory with a sad face, saying that it is unwavering in the Chinese market. What is Micron Technology's intention? With a loss of $2.3 billion, Micron Technology has completely surrendered. China is the largest country in the import of chips. In 2022 alone, the import volume of chips will reach 538.4 billion. It has become the parents of many chip companies in the market, including Micron Technology. It is reported that chips exported to China have become an important source of revenue for Micron Technology accounting for 25% of its total revenue. However, Micron Technology is born rebellious. Even if it makes a lot of money in China and earns a lot of money, it does not prevent it from being keen on confronting China and provoking trouble in its trade with China. As early as 2018, Micron Technology was sued by Fujian Jinhua and UMC for product infringement. The final court ruled that Micron Technology must immediately stop selling and importing more than 10 models of crucial SSDs and memory sticks and related chips. After all the punishments, Micron Technology still does not reflect on it and even intensifies it. According to statistics, Micron Technology has lobbied as many as 170 times in the past five years, asking the US government to suppress the Chinese chip industry. This bad behavior of eating and smashing the pot has finally come to an end this year. Several times of provocations by Micron Technology, in exchange for China's first severe sanctions on American companies from the national dimension, a total ban on sales, and a prelude to the chip counterattack. Micron Technology finally tasted the fruits of their own planting. According to the latest financial report data, Micron Technology's second quarter revenue fell by about 53% year-on-year, with a net loss of $2.3 billion, US dollars, the largest loss in 13 years. This time Micron Technology is really playing off. I didn't expect China to be so ruthless this time, and I guess I regretted it behind my back. Seeing that the big cake of China's chip market is about to be divided up by local Chinese companies and Korean companies, Micron Technology can't sit still. Therefore, Micron Technology immediately decided to invest $4.3 billion to build a factory in Lebanon and introduced a new production line in the newly built factory. It also stated that it would provide new labor and employment contracts to all 1,200 employees of Leeching Lebanon, and it is expected that an additional 500 jobs will be created. Intending to do well in the Chinese market. For a while, the public opinion exploded, and some netizens commented sharply, the first foot was banned, and the second foot came to invest and set up factories. This is not making money and making China pay for peace. Micron Technology has brought more than 4.3 billion losses to China's chip industry. Micron Technology was banned, and it was its own fault. What exactly Micron Technology intends to do with this move is not known in China for the time being. But what can be seen is that Micron Technology seems to be unable to give up 
the big cake of the Chinese market no matter what, and even if it is imposed the most severe ban on sales, it still has the cheek to hang on. Indeed, as the world's second largest market, with a population of 1.4 billion, China's consumption potential cannot be underestimated, and it is a must for many multinational companies. China can live without micron technology, but micron technology cannot live without China. Many overseas brands are well aware of this, such as the Japanese cardiovascular care product Shinue, which has recently become popular on JD Health. It is reported that this technological product is aimed at the cardiovascular problems that are increasingly severe with the aging society. A large amount of money has been invested in the research and development of the patented vessel vital. Based on the 120-year extraction process of pharmaceutical factories, the black blood purification technology Shinue has been implemented. The company had high hopes for the product, but was constrained by the small number of local users. Although the word-of-mouth response was good, the revenue was bleak, and it could not even cover the research and development costs. Later, the company took the initiative to integrate with the Chinese market and entered the mainland market with the help of JD East. The turnover exceeded 1 million overnight, successfully turned losses into profits, and set off a wave of enthusiasm among domestic high net worth groups. Industry insiders analyzed that behind the popularity of Shinue is its extraction from natural and rare plants and the help of authoritative certification. According to the data, its core ingredient is derived from the research results of Dr. Kirkland from Mayo Clinic, the number one hospital in the world. He accidentally discovered this substance in large leaf tea species. In the experiment, it showed the characteristics of sweeping aging endothelial cells. After two months, the hardened blood vessels recovered part of their elasticity. On the other hand, Micron Technology was banned because its products sold in China failed to pass the network security review and did not abide by the rules of the Chinese market. What is the real purpose of Micron Technology? Faced with questions from all aspects of the society, Sanjay Merotra, President and CEO of Micron Technology, said that the investment and construction of a factory in Lebanon demonstrates Micron Technology's unwavering commitment to Chinese business and Chinese team members. Some high-sounding words exposed Micron Technology's hypocrisy of pretending to be soft when its own interests were damaged. While wanting to make more money from the Chinese market, they are secretly doing things to suppress Chinese chips. Even if a company like this invests 4.3 billion in China, it will surely take more 4.3 billion from China in the end.